Yeah, hey, we back. We back with us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We back with legendary Oi Boys member. Man, don't cut me off. Hold on, hold on. This my show. Yeah, That's the damn is. rapper on. is what I would it stand for to me, but it's, he got a couple meetings for Let's go into that. BDR, what it stand for, Rich? Fuck you. I'm not with God. Come on. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, BDR, it, it originally started as uh, Black the Ripper. That's what BDR is the original meaning of BDR, was Black the Ripper. Because I used to know some people used to call me like Lord Black when I was young, Shorty Black. And uh, this dude I knew, they used to rap. Like I used to freestyle all the time. He's like, man, every time you come in, like you be ripping that shit. You come in last, like. So my young mind, I was like, man, Black the Ripper, that's my name. You know what I'm saying? So I went with that. And then my brother, years later, he was just like, man, that uh, he just told me straight up one day, like, how you felt, like that Black the Ripper shit, corny. I don't like that shit. Like, <laughs> <Damn, I'm> like, <laughs> like, so that shit just like had me like. So I really just like was sitting there one day like, damn, the same day he told me I was laying in the bed and never get out, I was just like thinking like, I changed my name, I'm a Black Ripper for a job, like, no, he is now, and I just said, BDR, I just abbreviated like, BDR, I said, damn, I got a ring to it, so I, I called him like, yeah, BDR, he's like, what the fuck is that, I'm like, BDR, Black the Ripper, BDR, he's like, man, it got grown, I, I got to think about it, you know what I'm mean? saying, I was like, fuck it, so I, I, I kind of ran with BDR, and then I said it in a song one day, we had a song, I said, BDR be my rap name, we don't eat and roll, feel deep, chillin' at the crap game. And then BDR kind of picked up for everybody, you know what I'm saying, like people started BDR, then people started making their own, you know, they mean BDR, Black the River, yeah, Bang That Ruga, Black Do-Rag, like what you got on, Bob Doctor, uh, BDR Kelly, like you know Best damn rapper for me. Best damn rapper. Billion dollar raps. It's just, <laughs> and I was locked up, somebody sent me a letter, like, little fan bill. They were like, BDR and Stamper, Boz, the restrictive flow. It's just be, you know. You, you know who's your best, your biggest fan down the farm? Who always used to tell me, I got I got electric before I'm down there? Who? Yes. Black Boat? No. Who? Beamer. Oh, Beamer, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah shout out to Ugly Beamer, that's, yeah, that's, Ugly Beamer, Beamer with rocking the for a long yeah. time, yeah, he's been rocking he for a long time. He's always, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. man, BDR, man, you gotta let BDR, yeah, come down there, man, BDR, man, motherfucker, yeah, it's true, that, man, he did it, yeah, that's the first time you didn't lie, Beamer, <laughs> you didn't lie, Beamer, yeah, that, 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 that's love right there, definitely, Ugly so let, let, let's dig into your rap career, right, so, um, okay. Ever since I met you, you probably, you probably, I know you don't remember this, but I met you and Boo with him a long time ago. It was like 2001. It was at an all Dre, you know, all Dre's a host of all the joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dre and Paint. Yeah. It, it was Dre one of them. Dre and Paint. Yeah, it was, it was one of them joints. Mouthpiece, South East, something. Yeah. And. Man. Yeah. Well, yeah, they yeah. call it, I think they call it. Yeah. But he was instrument, instrumental in mm -hmm. the same of the DMV. That was good. So, anyway. And I always took to you like Booby always had to sway when he after I met him and I had to talk to him he's like he always told me this to this day mm -hmm. every time I talk to him we talk about rap I ain't no rapper yeah be the other rapper he went every time when he was locked up he was like be the other rapper I'm trying to tell you be the other rapper yeah, yeah we going we going to be the other yeah. <laughs> everything was, was yeah. based around you yeah. so when y'all as the Oi Boys, mm -hmm. y'all made a lot of good songs. Give me yeah. 20 seconds. What was Oi? Where, where did that come from? Oh, I'm about to do that too. Come on. Okay, quick, Wayne. As the Oi Boys, I made a lot of good songs. I love going back to the first person. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. As the Oi Boys, I made a lot of good songs. But mm -hmm. first, explain to the people what Oi meant. You told me before, but tell right. the people that don't know. Uh, so, Oi, that was. Um, okay, you know, first, originally it was One Way Records. So when we had one way records, we, you know, that was already boo and everything. We came on board the young farmers, we was like artists on one way records. So I think later on down the line, maybe 2005 or something like that, I don't know, somehow boo was trying to copyright the name or whatever. And it came back that somebody already had the name one way records, like in California, like it was a gospel group or something like that. So we started saying uh, one way family presents, and then we had the album one way family presents this and that. And somehow, uh, it was something actually mid midnight. You know what I'm saying? Midnight. 
he used to always, you know, mess around. You know, like, people up north, they get the mic and they, they want to rap. They just they like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, funny to us. So we just started joking, like, turning the yoke backwards, you know what I'm saying? So say if I'm in the booth and I'm about to rap, midnight will be standing by the glass and he saying, Boy, I try to make me laugh before I go on, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's something we used to do to each other, like me and Midnight, like, playing around. And I want to say Midnight got that from me. It's, a, it's an episode of Fresh Prince, where I live, where he doing everything backwards. Like, he got this jacket, jacket, jacket going backwards and all that. Yeah. And he not saying, yo, he say, oi. Okay. Like, he ain't saying, yo, what's up? He saying, oi, what's up? Yeah. But I think Midnight got from that, so we started playing around with that. Then it kind of, it, it, it grew because... We had a mixtape that came out, and on that mixtape, I actually started saying "oi" on the music. Cause for instance, me and Midnight used to be like, nobody heard it. Like, he was like, "Hey, I'm like, oh, trying to make him laugh so he can fuck up on his verse before he come in." So then, this one mixtape we had, I came in and I started saying "oi, oi," and everybody like, you can hear people in the background laughing like, in the studio. That joint when that used to come out, that that joint was catchy as a motherfucker. Yeah. So, so that's oh, what, yeah. So that's what happened. <laughs> but yeah, of course, but that mixtape, that one mixtape right there. People start saying, like, what the fuck oi mate? What the fuck I say? Y'all keep saying that shit, what the fuck oi mate? At first we was just playing, like we was just playing with it. Then we was like, fuck it, oi, that's the beginning and the end to one way. You know, the one way style was O and E and W A Y. So the beginning of the one, the end of the way. Shit gets dead. Oh yeah, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. It basically grew his own legs and then it turned into, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Oi boys, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, saying oi, we the oi boys and it is. All I do with oi's was from the farms. Yeah. I don't know where it, it came from. It took like that where people started like actually saying like affiliated with the farms, like but it ain't really style like it started from us and then people start calling the farms the oil. Like that's the oil. Right. They think they be thinking like booty and them from the farms too. Right. But they like Geraldine. Oh. Then you got you actually got boy shit up T Street Northwest. That's where one way originally started at like, T Street Northwest. That's what booty was at with it back then. You see what I'm saying? So you know, like it's certain dudes on T Street be like, man, tell these dudes right here from Girl Dean, man, that one way started up, up T Street, and I'm like, yeah, nah, yeah, that's the truth. You know, it's a lot of little different layers that go to it. You know, T Street like, is a one way street. That's where he started with it. Cause he came to his aunt house and he started rapping up there. And then he crazy. got locked up, and he was like, come home and take the rap series. No, you know everybody don't know that T Street Northwest is a one way. Yeah, T Street Northwest. That's yeah. how he started. That's how he started. So the one way rap. I didn't know. I mean, yeah. I didn't even know nothing about T Street. But right. I was yeah. Talking so about T Street is a one way. That's where that came from. <laughs> then, then on, on top of that, so when we in one way, as soon as we started fucking with one way, like on the rap shit, the young farmers, when we started fucking one way, they turned the farms into one way streets. They surely did. So that was so big in the city that people just automatically thought like, oh damn, they rapping now, they got one-way records. And the farms one way, they ain't even thinking about them. Like they already had one way. Now they just think, oh one way, that's the farms. They just turned the farms to one way. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they turned like, Stevens Road to a one way. They turned everything. Oh, yeah, they all that road to a one way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, two way. Well, you know, only one to stay two way was uh yeah, yeah. Sterling. Like, like, you know, just how to stop the line, basically. Yeah, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the shit that's on Instagram that, that, mm-hmm. that's fucking up. Mm-hmm. The, the, the rappers, young, I don't know if you even call them rappers, but yeah. there's, there's getting motherfuckers killed yeah. all for yeah. just verses or whatever. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? The oh, beast. Uh, the beast. Yeah. I mean, over I, rap. I, I beef. That's yeah, supposed yeah, to be just some, just, just some music. music. Entertainment. Music, yeah. entertainment. I definitely believe like the, the culture it definitely shifted to a, a bad place for us that, you know what I'm saying? And it's also just like the big thing with you know, with crime become lack of opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lack of opportunity, so then it's the crime. So I feel like if we had people like uh Master P and Russell Simmons, and we had like the record labels in our area that can actually give niggas some money, you know what I'm saying? Like if you rap and you type, somebody take you in there, like you might sign a deal, you might get some money. So for these dudes, it's like they rapping, but they still living the same lifestyle in reality. And nothing's changed from it. Just go to the studio and make it. You know how like we had Go-Go. So you go to Go-Go, you get put on display. Oh, very fond of yeah. you. Know, For them, they not really in the Go-Go. It's rap. So if I'm from this neighborhood, T Street, and I'm a rapper, and I'm a young rapper, I'm a rap, but I'm going to start rapping about dudes I'm beefing with, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? People are doing it. They put it on display. Yeah, we beefing with Southwest and after niggas from Southwest and blah, blah, blah. That's part of their thing. And now everybody running over like, oh, you a rapper now? Like, you know, so they get their little in the hood fame and then somebody get killed and they rap about that. It's like, so, it's like the whole culture is turned to, and they actually adopted the Chicago culture. 
You see what I'm saying? It comes from from Chicago. Because Chicago was the people that started like dissing dead people or people who they, they, if your neighborhood over here, my neighborhood over here, and we go through here and kill him, the Chicago dudes rap about it. Yeah, you put your dead homie in the blind and blah, blah, blah. And then it just now it transcended to everybody around the world because of the internet. You see what I'm saying? So DC think that that's that. Like, we're going to rap about killing so Like, they really killed somebody. Like, that's, it's very disrespectful. Now. And it's like, it's in a lot of people dying, you know what I'm saying? Going to jail because they want to Instagram post, free my man or rest in peace. I be trying to tell the young girls I talk to them, like, if you get killed, like, you ain't gonna see the, the rest of peace post. You gonna be gone. Like, mm-hmm. dog, like you only get one life to live. You gotta take it serious. You know what I'm saying? Not for no five minutes of fame, but they'll be dead a lot better. You know what I'm saying? You wanna, you know, be tough on the ground. You feel what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. Honest question. Mm-hmm. Like, Boy Boys was known for all y'all was known for rapping with y'all live, right? Right. I got into the music game. I had two people named Farms, Rax mm-hmm. and Lil Tuck. Okay. Rax and who? Lil Tuck. Speak up, motherfucker. Who? <laughs> Lil Tuck. Tada? Yeah. I think Tada is a talented. Oh, yeah. Joke. Lil Tuck. Yeah. I ain't never heard him. Honestly, yeah, he's nice. I heard Rax. Yeah. And if I did him, I ain't know it was him. If somebody plays him for me, I ain't know it was him. Well, what I was trying to, my message to them was, and then kind of cut you off. So how you feel like Because I think y'all did the same. And I, and I get it, because I'm not from the farm, so I'm not from Southeast. And maybe it means more. But my thing was, rap for everybody, not just for Southeast. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So he, they did a lot of street records, mm-hmm. which is cool. If you, but if you're trying to make it, you right. got to broaden your horizon. True. So I felt like when you put out NBA, mm-hmm. No Bands Allowed, Right. Y'all had a hit record for the world, mm-hmm. and I don't think y'all pushed it. And that right. was, I'm a holy boy. That was yeah, catchy. I'm a boy. Yeah, yeah. True that. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I feel like with that, it's like, uh, like I say, it's the, it's the environment. So it's hard for them or anybody. I'm gonna say probably that you, you know your imagination. You gotta use your imagination. That's part of rap too. But it's like if you don't know that, so like you ain't never seen too much different. It's hard for you to rap about that. You ain't gonna rap about what you actually. Living, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's people that can come from, say, you come from the suburbs, maybe, and you can come around the hood a couple of times, this and that, and you can see different stuff. Then you can start putting on your raps to make people think you from there. But if you from the in this certain type of environment, in the area, and you start rapping, and you never seen those suburbs, or you never been on no trips to Florida, or none of that, it's gonna be hard to rap about that. It's hard to make a hit record, you know what I'm saying? Because you just rap about what you actually see. It's like what you get in your mind and in your face and in your body, like you get that, and then you just regurgitate it to people like over the beat. You feel what I'm saying? So it's hard to be like, I'm gonna rap for some, like a nigga's like, I'm gonna rap for some, some females, I'm gonna rap, I'm gonna make a song for bitches. If you ain't got no bitches, how you gonna do that? You don't even know where to start at. You, know, you ain't got no who? Bitches. Say that again. No bitches, right? It's gonna be hard to rap on that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you, it's gonna be hard to be like, you know, the. To tell a a bigger story about the female because you don't have none. You feel what I'm saying? You gonna be something proud of this pop. But let's go back to that. Oh, oh, we in a break. Okay, go ahead. So we're gonna wrap up another uh, segment. Not a segment, but but you got the my man BDR. This this is this is shit right here. Voices of the struggle. Closing lines. Yeah, get yeah. it. Yeah. Get at him. For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs>